Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this patriotic blobicure for the 4th of July. I was thinking about maybe doing another red, white, and blue water marble, but that seemed so kind of obvious to me that I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. So if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. Starting out, I already have a base coat applied. And the colors I'm going to be using are all Sally Hansen. The white is white on. The red is cherry red. And the blue that I decided to go with is deep sea blue. And I did a little bit of testing for this, but really with a blob cure, there's only so much control you really have. So I'm going to apply a fairly thick coat of the white. And then I'm just going to blob on each of the other colors right with the polish brush and you don't want to get too much polish on there or you'll end up with huge blobs but you don't want too little or you'll just have little teensy blobs so we'll see how this turns out give it time to kind of set since it's a really thick layer so you don't smear it when you put top coat on then I'm gonna finish with sesh feet um, you know a lot of times people ask me how do I dry my nails without getting lines or dents in them and really my secret is sesh feet I intend to go to bed pretty much as soon as I finish recording this because it's already about 11 o'clock at night so Sesh does the trick for me. I know not everybody likes it, but it's my secret that's not so secret. So I'm going to finish that off, and then I think I'll show you guys doing the blobs on my other hand too, since as you see, each nail in this design really is completely unique because of the way that the blobs spread. So my other hand will be completely different again. So there's my other hand and it was even a little harder to control how much polish was on the brush and sometimes I just rolled with it. I ended up with some pretty big blobs on my ring finger and sometimes I didn't like it enough that I just had to start over as I did with my index finger. And I'm going to finish this off with a top coat and then come back for my outro but just as a note. Uh, Try to keep your nails level as the polish is setting, or this is what you'll end up with. I had my hand turned this direction, so all the polish kind of ran in that direction. So I'm probably going to redo this finger, but um, always kind of a learning curve, and I still definitely feel like I'm learning with this technique. So here's the finished look. And this really is a fast, easy design if you need a last-minute 4th of July manicure. I'd love to hear what you guys think down below in the comments. I hope you all have a safe and happy holiday. And as always, thanks for watching.